My name is Creon. And my name is Taj. And welcome to the very first edition of Harley Bay State High School's Pelican Post. We are both students from the Harvey Bay State High School's Global Leadership Program that launched this year. The Pelican Post was an idea put forward by the Year 7 leaders so that we could showcase all of the wonderful things that happen at our school. Today we'll be, we will be talking about the events that have happened so far in 2021. That's right, Creon. We'll be talking about Schaefer Cure, Leadership Camp, National Day Against Body, Bullying, Junior Academy's Sheep Team, you name it. First, we'll be talking about the Schaefer Cure with Poppy, Nate, and Mrs. Anderson, the Year 10, Year Level Coordinator, who helped organise this event, which was our most successful Schaefer Cure ever, raising over $7,000. Let's hear what they had to say about the event. Harvey Bay State Heights School participated in 2021 World's Greatest Shave in Term 1. The event took place over two days. The first day, students were able to colour their hair for a gold coin donation and buy delicious cupcakes. The second day was the big event where five grade teachers and ten heroic students shaved for a cure. All up, $7,957 was raised. Congratulations to all the amazing teachers and students involved in this event. Now joining me is Miss Anderson, who helped organise this spectacular event. Miss Anders, Miss Anderson, how do you feel this event went? Um, the event went really well, and that came down to the participants. Our students were so willing to step and be involved, and also the staff. So that was a great effort. How is this an important event for the school? The school is part of our community and as we know cancer and especially leukaemia is very much part of our community and it affects our staff, students and our community as a whole. So it's important that we are seen and actually are supporting those people. What are your hopes with this event for years to come? I already know that some students have said that they will redo um, Schaefer Cure next year which is excellent and if we can get more students involved then we can contribute even better than what we did this year. Is this event going to carry on for much longer? Um, my understanding that we will be doing it every year. Um, that is the, um, the future of the event and I can't see that changing at all. Okay, thank you Miss Anderson for joining us for this segment of Pelican Post. Thank you. Well done everyone on this event. One of the highlights for the student leadership team this year was leadership camp. It was an amazing race themed camp and here we have Rachel and Chelsea to talk about this. Hello, my name is Rachel. Hello, Rachel. Leadership Camp 2021. On Friday, March 12th, 60 student leaders participated in an amazing race camp to the secret location and raced to the finish line. The first day saw students dropped off into Rona Street, Parklands, Brisbane. The first clue was to head to the AU Seaside, also known as the Gold Coast, so students masked up and headed to the tallest building in Australia, the Q1. All teams managed to get on the same train and all arrive at the Q1 at the same time. Here, they had to follow many clues to work out, to work out an equation for the next clue. The next clue took students to Surfers Paradise Beach and teams had to dig through the sands to find the next clue. This was a tough challenge for the teams and pink team took the lead on the next stop to Infinity Maze. Teams made their way through the maze and then headed north to the mini golf for 18 holes. After putt putt teams had finished had finished to the finish line, they both the pink team overshot the mark and was the race to the finish line. Day two saw teams start at the time they finished the day before except Pink, who received a time penalty during the night. Teams headed back up to Brisbane and the University of Queensland was the next stop. Teams had a choice of a selfie challenge or a counting challenge. Those who chose the selfie found themselves a bit behind. After UQ, teams had to find their way to the Kangaroo Point Cliffs and find Miss Josh. Here, the teams had to abseil down the cliffs and support each other as a team. The race to the finish line in Queen Street Mall was won by the Green Team. Teams celebrated with a night at Eat Street and then Sunday the leaders were given a surprise trip to Australia Zoo. This camp was quite a unique camp that had many components. If you are interested in being part of the leadership 
team, come along to the meetings in recess one Tuesday in the CAC. Hi, I'm Chelsea. Hi, I'm Rachel, and we're both from the global leadership of Year 7. And today I have here with me... Michalia from the pink team. Lucy, also from the pink team. Ella from the green team. And Sophie from the green team. We would like to ask a few questions about what was the highlight from CAP? I'd say Pacific Fair, or probably yeah. East Street. I like the... Um, the infinity maze because it was really fun it was kind of like a, like almost like a challenge to get through it but it was like fun at the same time yeah what did you win on day one and what did you win on day two um we won <laughs> um really good accommodation it was a four-star hotel with aircon and fridge and a tv and an actual bathroom and the beds were comfy <laughs> multiple pillows yes <laughs> Um, and on the second day, we won a ten dollar E Street voucher, which was really good because E Street is so expensive. <laughs> what challenges were the hardest from the camp? Sand. The sand. The sand pit. So we were passed out of the sand pit. It was awful. I was still finding sand in my pants from like <laughs> a week later. It was <laughs> crazy. Do you think your team worked well? And what could, would your team improve on in preparation for next year? We worked really well because we had a couple people who knew the area, so that kind of helped us to win the first day, I'd say. Yeah. Um, I think that we definitely, we worked well as a team, but we could obviously improve on our communication. But I think it was good that we didn't go for the easier option on the selfie and the counting one. We chose the counting one, which put us ahead by a lot. Thank you for your time and we look forward to working with you in the next year's time. Thank, Thank you for having you. us. Thank you so much for tuning in to the first episode of Pelican Post. Hope we all see you next time. Bye! See y'all.